today we're visiting Metrics Create Space in Capitol Hill in Seattle, Washington. Come on in. And giving our tour today will be Lauren. Lauren is a uh, staff member here at the space. Yes. So the majority of what we do is 3D printing and laser cutting. We also have an advanced circuits lab now, and we do a fair amount of CNC routing and textiles. So what's over here is we have two plastic extrusion printers, which is kind of the most common, most well-known. This is an Ultimaker, and then we have a cupcake over here as well. Behind us here is open workspace. It's no cost to come in, work on a project, spread out. We place a high emphasis on accessibility and community, so we try to make things as cheap as possible and free when possible so that smart people hang out here and do awesome things. So back here we have kind of our circuits lab. In here is a pick and place machine which lets us do surface mount soldering. In here we have a laser that can prototype circuit boards in a matter of minutes, which is a huge improvement both in time and resolution over what's available otherwise. We have a soldering station back here. This is our vending machine, kind of a, a crowd favorite, full of electronics goodies. We have a lot of stuff in here designed by members or regulars. Parts wall back here. So we have parts as small as individual resistors up to giant motors. Behind the register over here is our bottomless toolbox or parts of it. So as part of how we encourage people to just come in and work on projects is we have a really vast array of tools that are available for a very, very low rate. So back this way. We have our textiles area, which is kind of uncommon and special to have some of the machines that we have. So classic sewing machine sergers. We also have an embroidery machine. This is a heavy duty sewing machine. It can go through books and leather, no problem. So it is very, very powerful. And then over here, we have knitting machines. So this is essentially an automated loom, but it's knitting instead of weaving. And these machines can just knit fabric. They can also take two color patterns like this. And by manipulating, manipulating each stitch, we can make lace like that. We host a program called Hacker Scouts, which is like Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts. So it's co-ed, kids 8 to 14, two Sundays a month, and you come in and there's a project set up. In here, this is our laser room. This guy's 100 watts, cut bed is about 30 by 40 inches. All of our lasers can cut wood, paper, acrylic, leather, and rubber. Oh, jeez. This small laser, so this one's 50 watts. It, the cut bed is about 11 by 17. And this one can also etch anodized aluminum and drinking glasses. Okay, so this is our powder printer. So it's a little bit of a different model. So instead of a coil of plastic, it's printing layers of plaster. So then in here, this is our router. Four by eight foot sheets of just about anything. The biggest restriction on the router is we can't put a bit smaller than one eighth on it, one eighth inch, because it'll break. Other than that, we can do almost anything. And we're in the middle of this big foam job, which is making a mock MRI for the children's hospital mm. so that they can uh, so that they can put autistic kids into it and acclimate them to the environment before they go in for the real MRI. We have some other machines, so we have drill press, we have a mill that we are in the process of getting up and running, we have this chop saw for cutting down aluminum extrusion, building materials. We run workshops, mostly at the beginner level, for things from different softwares to intro electronics, intro Arduino, stuff like that. 
we've just started to run more and more textiles classes, which is really exciting. We have two kind of social nights here. So Wednesday night is hack night, and Thursday night is 3D printer night. Hack night is a little bit less structured and more socially motivated, and then 3D printer night is troubleshooting. So people bring in their own machines, work on them together, tune them, troubleshoot them, figure out what's going on, compare tips and tricks. Um, and then, so like I said, we run Hacker Scouts every, not every, but many Sundays we run Hacker Scouts, which is for kids 8 to 14, and they kind of have projects ready to go when the kids come in, and it's a way to foster technical skills in, in the next generation. Uh, in general, we are focused on accessibility first, so there's no upfront membership fee, everything's extremely reasonably priced, and, um, and we try to be as knowledgeable and friendly as, and accessible as resources as possible. Um, there's a really big culture of helping here, so when you have people who are just hanging out at the tables and you spread out a project, it's incredibly common for people to offer advice, ask you what you're doing, 